What's going on everyone? This is Kevin here, coming at you with TCL30, XE 5G, tips and tricks, and hidden features. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make the most out of your device. So let's get started. Now the first thing that I want to show you is one-handed mode. Now with the TCL30, XE 5G, we have a really large display here at 6.52 inches. So when you're using the phone, especially with one hand, it is pretty difficult to reach certain parts of the display. Now thankfully, TCL does have a solution to this, and it's called one-handed mode. Now there's multiple ways to get into one-handed mode, but one way to do it is to pull down the shade, and then you'll see, right there, one-handed mode. And essentially, we have a mini phone here, so you can do everything that you typically do on the device, but now it's much smaller, and as you can see, you can easily navigate around the entire operating system with just one hand. Now if you want one-handed mode to be a little bit bigger than what we're getting here, there's actually some different settings for that, and I'll also show you another way to access this. But what you're going to do is now that we're in one-handed mode, you're going to tap on the gear icon right there. That'll take you over to the settings for one-handed mode. And then also to get out of one-handed mode, you just touch the outer area to quit. So you can see we're in the settings area for this. So we have two different methods to access this, but first I want to show you how to change the size of one-handed mode. So you can see that we actually have some different options. So the default is 3.5 inches. We can also do four, four and a half, or even customized. So I'll go to customized for now. Then we're going to pull down the shade once again to access one-handed mode. And then now that we have customized enabled, all you have to do is just long press on the corner here, and then you can drag it to pretty much any size that you want. So you can even make the phone super tiny, which is pretty funny. So if you want it to be half the display, you can do that. You can have it do three quarters of the display as well. So essentially, you have additional ways here to customize that. But in addition to pulling down the notification shade to access the toggle for one-handed mode, you can also enable a gesture to access it. So we'll enable this access one-handed mode using gesture. And then you can see here, if you're using three key navigation, swipe across the navigation bar to enter one-handed mode. There we go, they're easy. So you can do it that way, you can pull down the shade. It is nice that we have multiple methods here for accessing this. Now this next one is already enabled by default, but essentially if you double press on the power key, it's gonna pull up the camera app right away. So it doesn't matter where you are throughout the operating system, just by double pressing on that power key, we now have the camera app pulled up here. The next thing I wanna show you is how to take a screenshot with the TCL30 XE 5G. So there are two methods to do this. The first method is to hold the volume down and power button for a second here. There we go, it took the screenshot. But the other method to take a screenshot, and this is enabled already by default, is to swipe down with three fingers. So you're gonna take three fingers, and then you're just gonna swipe down on the display for a second, and you can see right there, it took the screenshot. So another convenient way to take a screenshot on this device. Now the next feature I wanna show you is an easy way to access dual display. So with this device, similar to many other Android phones, you can have two apps at the same time running on your display. You can have it be a 50-50 split, or you can even toggle exactly where you want the split to be. But there's an easy way to get into this mode. Now the first thing you're gonna do is pull up the first app that you want to be in one half of the display. So I'm gonna pull up Google Chrome here. And then now that I have this app pulled up, I'm gonna take three fingers once again, but instead of swiping down for a screenshot, I'm gonna swipe up. And you'll see right there, immediately, we have our app drawer here, and we have the ability to choose the second app that we want to have on the bottom half here. So I already have Chrome up top. I'm now gonna choose the calculator for the bottom half. And there we go. We have the calculator down here, and then up top here we have the web browser. So I can do everything that I typically do on each of these apps, but now it has a 50-50 split. And then of course, you can toggle this one way or another to either expand one half or shrink the other half. So that's pretty nice. And then eventually, if you want one of the apps to completely take over, then just drag the bar one way or the other all the way down. And then now you can see, we're back to having Chrome taking up the entire display here. But again, if you want to easily access this, you take three fingers, and you swipe up on the display, and then we can easily access split screen right here. Now, as I mentioned in my first impressions video about this device, TCL as a company has a long history of creating displays. 
because they got their start primarily focusing on TVs. So with this device and many of their other smartphones, they have more customizations and features related to the display than many other manufacturers, and especially for lower end devices. So anyway, what I wanna show you is how to change the display color temperature on the device. And the reason why you would do this is to just customize things to specifically how you want it to look. So to do this, we're gonna to go to settings. Then you'll see right here, next vision, tap on next vision. And we have quite a few things enabled here by default. For example, the first thing that we have enabled, and I believe I selected this when originally setting up the phone, but you can see we have image enhancement. So it does automatically enhance image contrast, sharpness, and dark details. So you can either enable that or not. It's really up to you. There's also video and game enhancement, but again, both of these things were already enabled by default. But as far as customizing things further goes, we have screen color. So by default for me, it's set to vivid, but you can go here and you can pick natural for kind of a warmer look, or you can even go to advanced and really customize things to exactly how you want it to be. So if you want everything to be super cold, you can do that. You can have it be on the default. You can also change saturation as well. So it's really nice that they give us the ability to customize all these things, especially considering that the TCL 30 XE 5G is a lower end budget Android device. Now there are three more toggles that I think you'll wanna be aware of. The first one is reading mode. So if you do find yourself reading a lot on your device, maybe an ebook for example, you might wanna enable reading mode on here. So you can see that really changes the look of the display, almost mimicking an e-reader which is pretty cool. The next one we have here is eye comfort mode. So if you wanna filter out blue light, especially towards the end of the day, I know that's very popular. You can enable that to get rid of blue light. And then finally we have sunlight display. So if you're outside and you find it difficult to see what's on the display on your device, you can enable this to increase readability under sunlight. So that's pretty interesting as well. Now moving on with the TCL 30 XE 5G by default, we have the traditional Android three button navigation. And I know that's actually very popular with many people out there. And I know there's a lot of people that prefer this over the gesture based navigation, even though the gesture navigation seems to be the way that things are mostly heading. So anyway, it's definitely up to you whether you want the three button navigation or gestures. But if you do want gestures, I'll show you how to get them. So to get there, you're gonna pull down the shade, go to the settings, go to search, type in, Gestures, you'll see right there, buttons and gestures. So now that we've typed that in, we're gonna go to gestures. We're actually gonna go here to system navigation. And then you'll see that we actually have quite a few options. So we have the three button navigation. We have also an option to switch around the recent and back buttons. So you can configure that in whatever way you prefer. But you can see we also have gesture navigation right there. So now that that's enabled, we'll give it a second here. And now you can see that we just have a small line at the bottom of the display. So if you swipe up, it'll take you to the home screen. If you swipe partially up, it'll take you to your recent apps. And then if you're in an app and you swipe from the side, it'll take you back. So it's pretty much that way on every Android device that offers this feature. But if you do prefer gesture navigation, then just know that you can still get it here on this device, even though it's not enabled by default. Now there is an additional customization here. So we'll go to more, and then we'll go to gesture navigation back from bottom. And then now you'll see that we actually have three lines instead of one on the bottom. So it's kind of similar, but different at the same time. So you're gonna use this middle line to go home. You're gonna use the line on the left, if you do have it set that way, to go to your recent apps. And then the line on the right here will take you back. So just another option, kind of a hybrid between the three button navigation and gesture navigation. So I definitely recommend exploring all these different options to see what you prefer, because who knows, maybe you're used to using the three button navigation, but then if you try out gestures, you'll find yourself actually preferring that instead. So with the TCL 30 XC 5G, this device features a variety of different animations, whether that's going to the app drawer or going into an app or exiting from that app you can see at least for a brief amount of time there, there are some animations. So if you don't like having those animations and you wanna speed up the device, I'm gonna show you how to remove those. So what you're gonna do is go to the settings and then from here, you're gonna go down to accessibility and then you'll see right there, remove animations. So enable that 
And then now, as you navigate through the device, there are essentially no animations, or if anything, there will be very limited animations. So that is a nice way to speed up your phone. Then you don't have to wait for all those animations to load up. So certainly something worth considering trying out here. And then to bring animations back, just go to the settings, go to the same area that we were in, and then you'll see, remove animations, and disable that, and then now we have our animations back. Now with the TCL30 XE 5G, we do have a really big battery here with the phone, and we do get good battery life in general, but there are some methods here to further increase that battery life if you do need it. So what we're gonna do is go to the settings, then we're gonna go down to Smart Manager, go there, and we have some different options here, but we're gonna go over to battery, and you'll see that we have two different options in this section. So there's normal saving mode and super saving mode. And you can see that if we enable normal saving mode, we do have about 17 hours left on the phone, actually almost 18 hours. And then super saving mode gives us almost an entire 24 hours. Now keep in mind that the phone currently is at 84% battery. So I'd imagine that these numbers could be different, especially if you are starting off with a 100% charge. So if we enable normal saving mode, essentially it's gonna cut off a lot of the background tasks so that only the most important tasks with the phone will function. And then also you can see that it did dim down the display quite a bit as well. And then we can also enable super saving mode. And you can see that by enabling this, you'll get the maximum battery life by applying a simplified black home screen and limiting the number of usable apps. So we'll give that a try. And you can see there's no location access. So we really have nothing here. I mean, it's <laughs> just a few apps for the most part. Phone, messaging, the clock, settings. So not much there. And then if you do want to exit this, you can see that there is an area to do so. But both of those options are great if you find yourself needing more battery life out of your phone. Or maybe you're going to be at an event all day, for example, and you are worried that you won't be able to get through the entire thing without your phone running out of battery then at least you have both normal saving mode and super saving mode to make your phone last through the entire day. Now I already showed you a variety of different ways to customize the display on this device, but there is one more section and it is specifically called just display. So I wanted to show you this, but many of these things are probably things you are familiar with. We have adaptive brightness, for example, where it will change the phone's brightness based on the amount of light. I do have the phone's display at 100% for the sake of making this video, but I do recommend enabling adaptive brightness so that one, the phone's battery will last a lot longer because the phone will never be more bright than it needs to be. And then two, you're not gonna find yourself having to constantly manually change the display brightness level based on if you're indoors or outdoors. But in addition to that, we also have dark mode. So you can turn on dark mode whenever you want. This is definitely ideal if you're in a movie theater, not that you should really be using your phone in that setting at all. We also have the ability to change the amount of time before the phone goes to sleep. So by default, it is set to 30 seconds. I set it to 30 minutes because again, I'm making a bunch of different videos about this phone, but you can try out any of these different times. I personally prefer probably one or two minutes. 30 seconds is just kind of quick for me at least. But again, try these different sleep times and see which one ends up being the best for you. We also have the refresh rate. So this device has a 90 Hertz refresh rate. Essentially what that means is that the display, instead of running at 60 Hertz, which is a little bit slower, it'll run at 90 Hertz, giving us a more smoother experience here. But if you want to, you can switch it to 60 Hertz instead, which will save you battery life. And for most people out there, you probably will barely even notice the difference. Now I do like that the phone does have 90 Hertz, but I do at least appreciate that we have the ability to switch it to 60 Hertz if we want to. But then also we have smart refreshing, so it will select the best refresh rate automatically, which will save you power, but it'll also give you many of the benefits that come with a 90 Hertz display. Now you've probably noticed all throughout this video, any time that I press a button on this device, it makes a sound, and I'm really not a fan of this. I find it to be pretty annoying, and there are many Android devices that also have this enabled by default, so I'm not singling out this one by any means, but to turn off those touch sounds, you go to the settings, you're then going to go to search, type in touch sound, and you'll see right there, go there, and you'll see touch sounds right here, disable that, and then now there are no touch sounds 
when going through the foam, which is really awesome. Of course, you can always add that back in if you want to. And then the final thing I wanna show you are some pretty useful home settings. So by default, just like many Android phones out there, if you swipe over, you'll actually get this Google feed. And I personally don't mind it too much, but at the same time, I know that other people don't like it. So you can actually disable that if you want to. You're gonna hold down on the display, go to home settings right there, and then you'll see right here, Google feed. So once that's checked off and you try to go over to there, it won't pull up anymore. So I know for some people that can be frustrating because they often swipe over to there by accident. And then in this home settings area, there are some other options as well. You can actually get rid of the app drawer completely if you want to. You can also fill in empty cells. So automatically fill empty cells when apps are moved. You can change the home screen grid. So lots of different options here that I definitely recommend trying out and adjusting just to see what different changes you can make to the phone to make your experience better. But this concludes my tips and tricks and hidden features video regarding the TCL30 XC 5G. I hope you enjoyed this video, but this is Kevin here. Make sure to subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a great rest of your day.